welcome to part two of my first makeup video like i said in the eyebrow tutorial i did not want to put the eyebrows and the actual face together because i feel like it was going to be a super long video so in this segment i'm going to show you guys how i do my actual face but before we get started make sure you follow me on my social media accounts i will drop them right here make sure you like comment and subscribe guys and comment down below what you want to see next like what do you what do you guys want to see and like i said i do plan to get a video up every saturday so you guys you will see frequent uploads for me the only time that you may not see an upload is if something is really going on and i'm just like sump with homework or there of course it's like a family emergency and i just can not upload but guys expect a video from me every saturday so if you are ready to see how i beat my face stay tuned welcome to my everyday makeup routine i'm going to hop straight in and start to blend out my eyebrows and now i'm going in with the Too faced hangover primer i put a few drops on my face and i'm just going to rub this in like it's lotion Hold on, I'm sorry guys. I had to get my coffee in. So now I'm going in with the Sephora brand foundation. I am in the number 50 and it's called Deep. I don't know why it's called Deep, y'all, because obviously my skin tone is not deep. And that's not the darkest color they have, but whatever. I love it. This foundation cost about $20 and I was actually getting the rest out of the bottle because I am out. And now I'm starting to use the NYX foundation. So I will do a review on the NYX foundation. And now I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And I'm just spraying that with some MAC Fix Plus. And guys, please make sure your beauty blender is clean and damp, guys. We have to blend and the only way to do that is to make sure your beauty blender is damp and it's clean because there's nothing worse than a dirty beauty blender that is soaked in foundation and concealer and i'm just making sure i get my edges Get your neck, guys. Make sure you get your neck because we do not want a line showing we literally have on foundation. So make sure you drag it all the way down your neck and make sure you kind of get behind your ears. And I know it's a lot of blending, but I really don't want people to think I have all foundation. I need you to think this is my skin. So I'm getting my hairline, I'm getting my sideburns, my neck, everything. Get everything, girl. So now I am going in with LA Girl Pro Concealer and I am using the color Fawn. I use this to conceal. I am not highlighting yet, so I do conceal under my eyes. And I love this foundation and I mentioned this in my brow tutorial. So if you did not watch my brow tutorial, make sure you go and watch. But this concealer runs about $4 and it is super thick, guys. I am in love. I love this concealer so much. I'm sorry. But I love, love, love this concealer. It's cheap and it's thick. So we gonna hide those bags under our eyes. As you can see, I did say one minute because we are going to let the concealer sit under our eyes. And in the meantime, I am going to go in with my NYX powder. And I don't know the shade. I'm sorry, guys. But I'm just going in and setting the spots that I am not concealing. So I'm just going on my neck, going underneath the concealer, going on my temples. And yeah, I'm just putting powder there so it's not just the liquid foundation. I'm setting that part.
Now I'm going in with a, another color in the LA Girl Pro Concealer. It's a little lighter. It's called Creamy Beige. And this part is to actually highlight. So now I am brightening up my chin under my eyes and my forehead. This is so when light hits my face, it will reflect off of these light colors. And you are going to do the same thing. You're going to blend, blend, blend. So now I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I love this powder as well. So one of my tips is to flip it over and tap it so some product can fall inside of the cap. And I'm taking the sponge, and guys, I do not bake. I don't like baking because it personally gives me a flashback whenever I take pictures. So I do actually pat my powder in, and I feel like this is a trick so you can get flawless skin and no flashback so you want to actually pat that powder into your face so you're just going to literally pat where we just concealed and highlight and also if you get oily in your t-zone which is by your nose like I do I do put a little extra powder right there so of course the powder can soak up the oil when I do start to get oily and don't worry guys, we are going to bring some color back into our face, but this is just the part so you can look beat. So now I am going in with the Morphe Contour Palette and it is in the color Showmance as you can see. And I am just using a dome brush and I'm going to put my brush into the powder make sure you tap off any excess powder guys we don't want to look ridiculous and make a fish face it's okay make your little fish face and go in the crease of that fish face and you want to make circular motions you don't want to just move up and down you want to move in circular motions because that will give you a more clean look it won't look like you just place it there and you left it you're going to actually buff that out so I'm going to contour my cheeks and I'm going to go around my forehead as well there is nothing like having flawless skin and makeup like I'm sorry your eyeshadow can be popping your eyelashes can be popping but if your skin like foundation in your concealer is not laid right to me it doesn't matter like I focus on skin this is a trick that everyone wonders how to get those cheeks popping guys take your setting powder and literally cut your cheeks cut where you make the fish face and draw that line that is so you can look like your cheeks are like mwah. So now you're going to go in with bronzer and I'm sorry I don't know the name of this bronzer either but I will post everything in the description box guys so don't worry if you are interested in any of these products just check my description box. And now I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques fluffy brush and I'm just going to buff everything out guys. I am blending of course. Like I said, blending is key in makeup so I'm going to take that brush and I'm mainly going to go over the whole face and just make sure there's no lines. I want everything to be flawless. And definitely make sure you get the line that's under your contour because you don't want it to look like a super straight line. Make sure you get rid of that line. So here I am going in with the Kiss Lashes and these are in the style Teddy. 
these are my favorite lashes you can find these at your local Ulta they run about six dollars and they're super cute they give you that wispy look I just love them and as far as my eyelids I did go in with the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I just put a tan in my crease and a light white shade on my lid and I just blended it out something super simple And now I'm feeling myself because I got my lashes on. Like my lashes just make me feel put together. So now I'm going in with the MAC mascara and I'm going to go ahead and blend my eyelashes into my falsies. And I'm also going to do my bottom lashes. I can never do mascara and not do my bottom lashes. Like, I don't know. It's just not me. Like, I have to do my bottom lashes, guys. And I be about to poke my eyes out, so that's why I made that face. And I had to, like, take a minute and stop because I be about to make myself blind. And I'm going to actually line my lips with the Anastasia Brow Pencil. I know guys, like makeup is so versatile, but this is a eyebrow pencil. And I'm going to put my favorite NYX lipstick in the middle. I will link all products down below. And I'm going back in with the Naked palette and I'm just going to put the lightest shade on my eyebrow and it's just to highlight underneath. And as you can see, I'm super excited for highlighter time. Guys, this is the Maybelline highlighter. I love it and it will be in the description box below as well. <laughs> Thank you guys, that is it for my video. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.